Take your time looking back. You're not going that way. All right, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Total War. We are here on Thrones of Britannia doing a full on Viking invasion against Wessex. And that is what we are seeing here. The ships are hitting the coast, men are jumping off the ships, preparing to form their lines. We are attacking West Wessex. Wessex has come out to meet us on the battlefield, and we are full on invading. So we'll take a look at all the troops I got here. I got some Royal Huskarls. You guys saw those in the last Thrones of Britannia video. Very nasty unit. We also have some Viking Raiders. You cannot show up to a raid without these guys. You gotta have them. So they are jumping ship, and this just looks beautiful. I also sent two ships in this direction because I saw their general in a ship, so I thought I could go for the general, but he landed his ship and he's going to join up with his army. So we are all forming up here. Absolutely beautiful. I will show you guys the berserkers. I could not come to this fight without bringing berserkers. Now if anyone knows the story behind berserkers, they were insane. They had rituals before every battle where they would do a dance and they would sing and they would wear animal furs because they believed that by wearing the animal skin, it would give them the strength and the confidence of a bear or a wolf to fight in battle. So these guys were very feared among all Vikings. Very nasty unit in this game, very dangerous. So we are moving up this hill here, trying to get all our men off onto the beach as quick as possible. Look how beautiful these guys look. I just love the Viking time period. It's just, it's so interesting, their culture and what they believed in and how they believed if, if for example, if a husband accused a wife of being unfaithful, for example, they would believe the woman over the man. They were very respectful towards women in their culture. Although there were many sacrifices, I'm sure, of women as well. But that is what I have gathered from the history on the Vikings, is that they were very respectful to women, unlike the uh, English culture, European culture. Women were very oppressed there. So I've always had a lot of respect for the Vikings and their culture and what they believed in and Odin and how they, they were so spiritual and believed there were symbols behind everything, which I still believe myself today, maybe not as extensive as the Vikings did, but it's always good to have that spirituality. It, it gives a, a reason for, for, for living, for going on, for whatever you do. These guys look beautiful marching into battle. It is going to take a little bit of time for them to meet up with Wessex in this field, so I may fast forward at some point just to get the soldiers in position so you guys can get to those juicy battle scenes. So that's what I'm going to do here. The rest of the ships forming up here. We've got our archers here. I brought a lot of archers to skirmish down the enemy as best I can. And just look how beautiful these ships look. They should have done so much more with this. It's just beautiful. I just love this game. Yeah, if anyone's interested in getting the game, it's called Total War Thrones of Britannia. You can buy it on Steam. I'm pretty sure it's only like $30 now. Not entirely sure on that, but... I definitely would recommend it to anybody who likes these games. So 
all the Vikings are forming up here. We have our Axemen. Lots of Axemen. We have Joms Vikings. Very strong sword infantry unit. Look at these guys. They must have all went for the same haircut beforehand. And they are ready to face off Wessex. Here comes our Berserkers on the flank here. Can't wait to see these guys get into action. And just see the boats in the, in the background sailing away. We've got one more ship, which is on its way to deploy its units onto the coast here. Sometimes it is a little bit glitchy with the boats, but it's, it's more for a cinematic approach to make it look as beautiful as possible. Because ultimately, that is my goal here. I want to make the best content, the best entertainment as I can. In every video, I want to improve from the last one. So I've been watching some, some tutorials on video editing, because I'm a complete amateur. I have barely any knowledge about editing or video making or anything like that. So this is a learning experience for me, and it's always good to reach out to the community to, to ask questions about how I do this or how I can do that. So that's, that's basically what I'm doing here, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Here come the Royal Huskarls marching into battle. I just love the dust kick up when they march like that. The landscapes are just so beautiful in this game. Such a beautiful scene with the boats in the background. It's just, it's always so fun when there's a beach landing to watch the ships see all the ships in formation storming the beaches there's also um how would you call it battles on the water i might do one of those one time they're not very popular but basically you can have a fight on the water with just ships and they just crash into each other and they board each other and fight to the death and archers firing fire arrows setting boats on fire it's really it's really interesting it's fun the one thing I was slightly disappointed with with Thrones of Britannia is they don't have any historical battles. Traditionally, Total War always had an option to play out historical battles with semi to accurate numbers of the actual battle that was there. Rome 2 is very famous for this. They have some very good historical battles. I will definitely cover those in the future. But there were so many battles that they could have done historically for this game. Right, they are getting in position. I also sent a flanking force over here. We have two units of Joms Vikings in shield wall, holding just in case they decide to go for this unit. But I just want them to be nervous of this unit. I want them to pay attention here. Because when my main army comes up here, I'm going to try to flank this unit around and crush one of their flanks and that is the key to victory my friends when you crush the flank get around before your enemy does it's it's a sure victory it's all about the battle tactics now i may not be the best player but i am still learning always learning when it comes to these games so let me um let me know guys if you have a battle or a historical battle that you're interested in and you want to see a battle on it, make a suggestion to me. I'm trying to interact with subscribers as best I can while I still can. So if you do have a battle, I will gladly do it. I will research on it, have some historical facts during the video. Because that's that's what this is all about, is, is history, my love for history and these battles. It was just a different time. And it goes to show the Vikings, their culture made them strong in battle. They were feared among everyone. I'm pretty sure at a point that the, the English, or Wessex at that time, Mercia, whatever it may be, 
They believed that the Vikings were a different species. They believed they were more beast than man. And that's what made them so feared. But eventually, they realized they were just like them in a way, just a different culture. There were many betrayals while the Vikings were trying to integrate their culture into Wessex, into England, wherever it may have been, and they were betrayed time and time again. So I kind of understand why they had reacted so violently to these attacks. So I'm going to hit the, uh, the fast forward button here. We're going to get our army in position. And we'll get to that juicy battle scene I know you guys are waiting for. And I went with the, a similar formation that I usually do. First line of men, second line archers, and then a reserve force in the rear here. So archers on the Wessex side are opening fire on my archers. We are prepared to follow up with a return fire. But first, I'm going to get them behind my shield wall to keep them protected. And they are just chewing us up because they got a good shot on our rear. And we are ready. Get a nice view of this shield wall. Just imagine being in this shield wall. I heard an interesting story recently from Pixelated Apollo's videos. And the, apparently there was a written account of these shield walls. And these shield walls were so tightly packed that when men died, they died standing up. And that just absolutely blew my mind. I'm just going to turn down our sound effects real quick just so you guys can hear me clearly. I'll fix that a little bit. There we are. And here comes the charge. Right into our shield wall, but we are holding. We've got some Viking Raiders here doing the best they can. Not an elite unit, an average unit. Fairly cheap, but it's always good to use your leftover funds on the best cheap unit that you can. And their Huskarls are really doing a number on my shield wall here. My Joms Vikings. And just look at this front line. There goes the archer fire in the background. So many men fighting to invade England. Probably retaliation for killing their settlers. Their cavalry over here trying to flank us. Viking raiders holding him back as best they can. We are opening fire on their archers. They are running away. Trying to focus them down. Our general over here going in for that juicy charge. They are in triangular formation. This increases their charge bonus. And they will drop them like flies once they get into battle. But they do move slightly slower. Their enemy cavalry riding into the flank of my general. Oh, that was... God, wow, that was a good charge. They got a good charge off on my general. But he holds. He will not give up the fight that easily. We are pushing as much as we can. Here comes some more Huskarls. Falling back. Trying to get a better position. Archers opening fire, focusing down the enemy archers. Always a good tactic to focus fire. And they are just dropping like flies. And they are running. We have taken the enemy's archers out. It is always good to take out those archers early on in game. Could save a lot of lives. And just look at this shield wall. So many men, and my men were tired. We had to sail our boats, storm the beaches, run all the way up here. They are tired, but they are fighting. They are not going to give up that easy. Because they want to die. 
These are the Vikings. They want to be in Valhalla and feast with Odin and see their brothers in arms. That is what they want, so they will fight to the death. And here comes the Berserkers going in for a charge to the rear on the Spearmen. Shields up in the air. Look at these guys. Absolutely crazy. Look at them. They're already running away. They want nothing to do with the Berserkers. Enemy cavalry in the lines, rear lines over here, trying to get a charge off on my men, looking for an opportunity. But we are ready. We have some reserves here, some Joms Vikings. Archers are still opening fire, trying to take as many out as we can. Absolutely beautiful, guys. We are holding, fighting in the shield wall, avenging Ragnar Lothbrook. If anyone has not seen the Viking show, I really suggest you watch it. I know I said it in the last video, but I, I couldn't suggest something more exciting and just a beautiful, historically accurate show. Remotely accurate. Obviously, we can't know exactly what happened in those times. How beautiful these Huskarls look with their big shields on their back. To victory! Archers firing away, dropping these guys like flies. Look at that guy, right into the back. They're coming back for a second charge, charging into the rear enemy lines. Look at this guy, he's just banging his sword on his shield. Somebody fight me! Oh, he likes to do that, look at that. Oh, they are falling back. They cannot contain the Viking invasion. Wessex is starting to fall back, trying to reform their lines. It is absolute chaos here. Look at this. Men are everywhere. There is no longer a straight battle line. They are just fighting chaotically everywhere. And look at the numbers running from the fight. Archers opening fire. Hunting down the men that are running away. Look at that archer fire. We'll get a good look at that. Archers moving up, trying to get some more flanking fire on those units. And Wessex is retreating. They're trying to reform their lines here. Is it going to be enough? I don't think so. They cannot contain the revenge of Ragnar. And that will be the end of the battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. I have another video coming up. It's, it's going to be the new style to my videos. But the first couple videos that I've made is me playing against the AI, which is a computer, and I'm going to change that. These were more like practice videos to get used to my commentating, get comfortable with my voice as my voice just cracks, and just get used to the style of my videos, figure out what I want to do, how I want to do it, how I want to approach my viewers, and how I can make the best content. So I've reached out to a friend who I, I know in person, went to school together. He actually used to be my next door neighbor. And we are making plans to do an online siege battle in Thrones of Britannia, a full on Viking invasion. We may do large armies. It hasn't been confirmed yet. We haven't talked about it to that extent. But I want to do large armies, which would be double the size of this army that you saw here. So we're gonna be looking into that. That video will probably be released maybe a, a couple days, three, four days. It's gonna take some time to put together, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated on my content and what's going to be coming out. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Boston Boy out.